so it's been a couple years since I've really heard a lot of Goldman sucks criticism. I mean, they're still the same bank, but for some reason they've been invisible in the media. Okay, so a few points I want to bring up. The first one is um, people are saying that, do you actually believe that these little silver channels can move the market? No. Just like I don't think that a few thousand people can influence the ratings. You know the Nielsen ratings on TV? The way it works is that they is that they sample a small part of the population. And that small part of the population they sample represents the whole population, right? So those, you know, so if, if a few thousand people talk about TV shows and they do some blogs on it, it's not going to move the ratings. But what those people are saying is representative of the whole viewership. And that's how these silver channels go when it comes to sentiment. Like, um, when, when you see some channels appearing to hate silver, right? They're not, it's not that they're, they're moving the market, it's that they're, they're a representation of the market as a whole. Because the, the way that um, human psychology works is that we're all humans in this market. So you don't have to actually poll every single human, you just gotta poll enough of them. And that's how these silver channels work. It's like the Nielsen ratings of the silver market. So to see sentiment, you, you see these, these channels. That's actually, I give that credit to that for moments in trading. He, said, he, he told me that, so that's his credit. So a, a second thing he told me um, about is the myths that um, JP Morgan is buying up all the silver, right? So essentially that um, these silver warehouses, right? The COMEX, right? These, the, the warehouses that the silver is resides in, right? They're renting space out, right? It's like bullion vault, right? People buy bullion in the vault or Kitco. Kitco has bullion. People buy the bullion, right? So if a lot of people start buying up silver, then Kitco has to get some more silver for their vault to keep up with demand. So if there are a few large buyers of silver, like on the COMEX or people want to move their silver in, right? JP Morgan, who, who owns the warehouse, you know, you're going to see more silver in their warehouse. But that doesn't mean that they own the silver, right? <laughs> it, it's uh, you know, they're they 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 own a locker, right? Or they they own what are those uh, um, pe people buy buy those? They're, they're, basically, they're like the landlords, right? They're the landlords. They have this vault. And people buy stuff and put in there, and see all these videos saying that J P Morgan's buying all this silver, and it's like, no, you're listening to idiots. These are idiots morons who are telling absolute lies that are complete fabrication and they most of them know that they're telling lies but they don't care because whatever their business model is this is good for their business model so this they're just telling flat out lies right okay so um my last part is i want to say things that people who have precious metals they will like what i'm going to say right now so essentially, one thing about the black market, right? When people say, you know, what 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 is the real demand for uh, for stuff for, for for stuff you hold in your money that's hand money, right? I mean, right now, a lot of the drug dealers and underground economy is liking the paper bills, right? However, if we go to a cashless society, right? The black market's not gonna is not gonna be using, uh, and the drug dealers are not gonna be using something that's traceable in the bank account. They're gonna be using something untraceable, and that's where the precious metals come in. So, in my opinion, if they go through and they eliminate all cash and everything's all digital, it's gonna cause a huge explosion in the price of precious metals, as all the drug dealers start start you know using precious metals to do their drug dealers instead of you know hundred dollar bills because they won't be available so here's my my second view on that so much of the world has paper dollar bills in third world countries a lot of people have been storing paper bills for a long long period of time and if for some reason the u.s government the federal research say okay we're getting rid of we're, we're, we're getting rid of a paper money 
you would see, I think, massive inflation as all this paper money got spent. And even if it didn't, I mean, the demand of, the, I mean, the replacement of, the res see, the reserve currency, a lot of people say that, you know, it's, it's being forced by the military and all this. But the fact of the matter is, is these drug dealers voluntarily use $100 bills. I know a couple years ago, I had made some videos saying that um, you, when, when, it's, um, when it's less, it takes up less space and weight for gold coins than for $100 bills. So I think that you have to, you know, $3,000 gold is when it's, it's more viable to have, to transact in gold as opposed to, to $100 bills. That was that that was some that was some kind of tangent a couple years ago. But basically, what I'm saying is that if for some reason they do go to we have a cashless society, I think precious metals will explode in price, and I think that's that, that that's a that, that that's a that would be a huge um, uh, demand on that. And that's one reason why I I I don't think it's as probable as people think. Is that I think that the Federal Reserve would know that 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 making people. Um, making, making, making people use all digital money will make an explosion in prices of metals and an explosion in cryptocurrencies as well, if, if that happens. Um, and when I say cryptocurrencies, I think that Bitcoin is like the early version, right? It's like, you know, when, when, it, when it comes to software, often the early version has a lot of problems with it. In later versions, they iron out the problems. I think that in the future, there will be some kind of cryptocurrency that is a lot more viable than right now. I mean, there's already articles up there how, how, how the how the blockchain is, is a revolutionary concept for for money. But I mean, um, that's kind of going on a tangent. But really, what I want to say is that it's kind of it's kind it's kind of shocking. Actually, actually, Wilmington Trading had also sent me um, some information about um, this J.P. Morgan um, is buying up silver because the the warehouses which um, they rent out uh, get filled up. So there's a like a, a few, a few um, large buyers. It's amazing after all these years, um, a lot of these silver channels still don't understand how the Comex warehouse works. And the people who are watching them refuse to learn on their own um, so badly about how the Comex works that they're willing to believe stuff on faith and not look for themselves. Either that or they don't have the abstract, um, they, 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 don't, they don't have the mind to think abstractly to try and learn how something that has several, pro several steps takes, takes place or they have some kind of blind spot where they're willingly um, blocking out the ability to learn how the Comex warehouses work. So thanks for watching and be well. And that's all I got.